The amount of peers you need determines on the amount of settlement you have on your home. Houses settle in different aspects, different ways, and if you don't catch it in time, then your peers start to multiply. Helical peers have to be every five to six feet is the industry standard. So depending on how far the house is settled um, and how much you're trying to recover from there depends on how many helical peers you install. Helical peers, we don't use them very much here um, because I don't like them that much, but they've been around for a hundred years. They've been here for a while, they're, they're, there's a place for them. Uh, helical peers, 98% of the time are gonna be driven on the exterior of the home because what you have to do is once it's fully excavated, you have to come in and take a section of the footing out so you can put the bracket that installs the helical on the wall. Um, then you come in with either a skid steer or a skid loader and you hook up the hydraulics for the head because your, your helicals are torque driven, they're not pressure driven. So as they come in, you dig down a foot underneath the footing, you break out a small section, you put the three foot section against the wall and then you start torquing it into the ground until you hit the specs that are designed for that house. As you put that in, uh, every three foot you come in and we bolt the galvanized pieces together and we continue to torque them down to the specs. Once we get to the specs, we cut them off to the level we need them at. We put on the head assembly and then we start the recovery process. The helical pier is more designed for the Southern markets. Um, helical is the only pier you can use in Florida because it's very sandy soil. So when you have a concentrically loaded pier that's hydraulically pressed, sand don't have any pressure so you so you would push them until 100 150 feet and you would lose them in the ocean down in new orleans you push them and sometimes you lose them in the ocean underneath it because of the water tables the helical piers what they have is they have the the torque mechanism up top they get wider and wider depending on how loose the soils are so when you go out if you're strictly on the beach front they'll use a two to three foot thread atop and then they'll torque it in with the helical you're trying to gain friction torque with it you're not trying to use it as an inloaded pier so in texas alabama louisiana places like that that don't have basements their footings are poured together with the slab which is called a monolithic pour so when they do that they don't have to break anything off and then they can come in and immediately drive it down um, here when you have a foundation, 95% of the time, they're poured in three different phases. You have your footing that they put in, they let that cure, then they come in and pour the foundation wall, and then they pour the slab itself. So uh, helicals here will work, they, they, they'll, they'll still do what we need to, but in my mindset is, if the footing was there to hold the house, then I don't wanna break it to install the pier. And with the concentrically loaded pier, it goes directly under the wall. So you're at a 90 degree angle, and you're driving down and using the structure that you're pushing off of as the counter load. So you know you have what you need to hold the, the, the property in place.